Now coming to quant, I tend to do very well in quant in uh, nearly all the cats that I have taken uh, the last six seven uh, exams. I did very well. Many times I scored full. Sometimes I scored one question. I got one question wrong. I think one very important thing that you should remember to do very well in quant is being ruthless about uh, leaving one question and going to the next one. That I think is one mistake that I don't make at all. When I feel that there is a question which seems to be easy, I try to attempt it. If I get it correct, then fantastic. But for some reason, if I'm not able to solve it completely, if I make some progress, but I'm not able to uh, get the final answer and I'm going into some repetitive loops or I'm making so many calculations where I feel, okay, clearly I'm making some mistake somewhere, I'm wasting time. Okay, clearly there should be an easier way to solve it. These kind of things I feel when I'm in the middle of solving a question. Then I always ensure that I leave that question there and I go to the next one. The reason is very simple. In quant, there are 22 questions. You should make sense and you should make justice to all the 22 questions. You should never spend five minutes or six minutes on one particular question because it makes no sense. You have 40 minutes, you have 22 questions. So you have less than two minutes per question. So the moment I spend more than three minutes on any particular question, I leave it, I go to the next one. Because I have another confidence. I have another confidence that if I finish all the 22 questions, when I cycle it and I come back to this question that I did not solve. The second time when I'm able to solve it, I would have already read the entire question already. I have made some progress. And maybe my mind was also thinking about the question in the background when I'm uh, doing the other questions also. So many times when I come back to solve this question for the second time, because of all of these advantages, I get that question correct very quickly. So I ensure that I never ever spend more than three minutes on any particular question. If I feel that, okay, this is an easy question, somehow I'm not making progress. That also I get that frustration many times. Where I feel this is an easy question, I'm just messing it up. I mark it for review, I go to the next one. This way, I know which question to come quickly when I'm uh, coming back after finishing all the 20 questions. So any question that I'm making progress or I feel I should be able to solve it, but I'm not able to solve it right now, I mark it for review, I go to the next one. So that when I come back, I attack this question and many times I get it correct very quickly. That I think is by far the single most important thing that I want all of you to do. The second thing that I would say I do pretty well is I commit very few silly mistakes. Now. Why do I commit many silly, uh, very few silly mistakes? I think is because whenever I make any silly mistake, okay, in any of the mocks, any daily target, or anything or the other, I take it, uh, I try to understand exactly why that happened. Okay, if uh, say sometimes I make the mistake that okay, six into eight, I write it as sixty-four. Stupid mistake. Okay, normally it should not happen, but once or twice I made that, and then I realized that okay, this is a mistake that is happening. I would write it down in a notebook. Then when that kind of a question comes or when that kind of a situation comes in the examination, I pay double the attention. I don't switch off because many times I realize that I make silly mistakes only when I switch off in an examination. When I solve the question, the important steps are done and then I have to just continue solving it mechanically and I'll get the answer. In those kind of situations when I'm just solving it mechanically, I make silly mistakes. So I ensure that whenever I'm committing any silly mistake, I remember it. There are many ways to remember it. You can write down all the silly mistakes that you've made keep revising it regularly so that when that kind of a situation comes you don't repeat it this will ensure that your silly mistakes decrease at least by 67 percent 60 to 70 percent that would ensure that you are not losing out on any marks that you would have normally gotten this i think is the second thing that i would want all of you to do